I am on the property of the of the um, diasporan African farm. It's on the property of Du Bois Center in Accra, Ghana. They have an ancestor wall at Du Bois Center that I'm going to show you that you can put the name of one of your ancestors on the ancestral wall and there's some prominent names there not that um, that's important but I do want to share that Marcus Garvey, John H. Johnson, uh, Ebony Magazine founder, his wife Eunice, uh, Harriet Tubman and so somebody from their family has been here uh, usually people come and they fill out the paperwork and they have their uh, ancestors names put on the wall the ancestral wall at the boy center I'm inside now in the gift shop I think that's what it's called but I'm gonna walk through the property a sister was here so nice she's from Ghana raised in Amsterdam and she's volunteering here and she helped me um, fill out the paperwork and uh, that's the office that they're in. Mrs. Bennett, I can't remember Miss Bennett's first name. She's the founder, where well, her name is outside, you'll see it. She's the founder of the Diasporan African Farm on the property of Du Bois Center. Such a beautiful place. In fact, that's her ambassador, Erica ben Bennett. And that's the president, Kofu. I do, the current president in Ghana, 2019. So it's a beautiful building. Um, I'm going to go outside and walk the grounds and share. Diaspora and African form. It was placed here when John Kofour was in office. He was in office during the Bush years. Founder Erica Bennett, head of the mission. Uh, these are the um, board members. This is a wall with the board. Jake O to B C Lamptey. He was the minister of tourism the first time I came. Professor Ali Mazarui, who did that wonderful documentary on Africa. Dudley Thompson, um, African Harris Design Company. Thanks to you, our dream came true, 5307. Some of the names, Reverend Jesse Jackson, he was here when they um, dedicated the, this uh, institution. Republic of Ghana, Dr. Julius Garvey, this Marcus Garvey's son, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., these are all board members. Andrew Young, Ambassador Andrew Young. Louis Gossett Jr. He was just here in December 2018. And there's the plaque commemorating the historic visit of President and Mrs. Barack Obama, July 11, 2009. Marcus Garvey uh, Guest Center. It's a guest house. You can rent rooms. And the reason I show the names is because some people, and this is the outside of the building, Diaspora and African Farm. The reason I show the names, some people, because we've been so brainwashed, misled, turned inside out. And some, a lot of us are disconnected with Africa and have no interest in it. But some people, even through their disconnection, when they realize that the movers and the shakers, the elite, the big and the powerful, have an interest in something, they start looking at things differently. And I think that's what's happening right now, especially in Ghana, because Steve Harvey was just here. Of course, Bojo, the actor, brought a hundred and some people last year, he's bringing 200 this year around Christmas. Um, and a lot of people are coming and going. Big names, personalities. And they're being overwhelmed by the reception and they're just hard, they're, you know, it's just a wonderful thing. Okay, so this is the ancestral wall. I'm getting ready to put my father's name here. I just paid for it today. So if you come and see Richard Lee Ray, that's my daddy. National Association of Founders honored on the Sankofa wall. So whoever sees this video, if you're here 10 years from now, look for Richard Lee Ray, that's my father. His name will be here. And I may even put some more ancestors here. There's John H. Johnson and Eunice Johnson, founders of Ebony Magazine. Dr. John Hope Franklin, the wonderful 
historian. Um, who else is here that we recognize? This is the ancestral wall on the property of Du Bois Center, Accra, Ghana. Harriet Ross Tubman Davis, I'm sure that's our heroine, Harriet Tubman. Somebody in her family was here, I'm sure. Put a name on the wall. It's a spiritual thing. Sister Rosa Parks, I know her family was here. James Farmer, uh, the head of Corps back during the Civil Rights days, he's here. We are the hopes and dreams of our ancestors. Yes, we are. Marcus Mosea Garvey, of course, he's here, and his wife, Amy, she's here. Nathaniel Bonner, senior, out of Atlanta, Georgia, the Bonner brothers, he's here. Winnie Mandela, she's here. Of course, her family, somebody was here, I'm sure. And some of you may know the names that I don't know. <clears throat> I'm only saying the ones that I'm familiar with. Nelson Mandela, he's here. Of course. Mary Ellen James Ray. Don't know who that is. John, Uncle Ray. I got an Uncle John. I'm sure it's not the same people, but um, it'd be interesting if we were related. We could be. Names have a tendency of repeating in families. So this is the ancestor wall, and you can look at the names on it. You may have a family member here and you don't even know it. Or well, some of you may see this video and you do know it. You could have been the ones that placed them here. Rufus Martin. Rufus just died. He came here, he was a Garveyite. He came here when he was 93 years old. Came here 93 years old and he lived to be 99 and was strong and healthy. And they placed his name in a ceremony here last Saturday. I just missed it. I was a little bit late when they placed his name there, but I still came. So this is the ancestral wall. The last three names. H.E. Ben, I mean Israel, the brother that started the mission in Israel. Okay, so I walk around the property. It's a nice sized property, and the boys and his wife actually lived here. Kwame and Kruma recruited W.E.B. Du Bois, and Du Bois moved here. He was in the process of writing an Encyclopedia of Africa. I don't think he was just gone. I think he was writing an Encyclopedia of Africa, and um, he came here and he lived here and he died here and, he, and he's buried here and his wife is too. He made a great contribution. He didn't come to, he was I think 93 or 91 or something like that. Is anybody inside? I can go in? Yeah. Will they let me film? It'll be okay? You don't know? Okay, but I can go in. Okay, thank you. Sister, tell me your name real quick. I'm not going to disturb you. Dufier. Who? Dufier. Dufier? Yeah. Dufier. Okay, and sister, what's your name again? Pearl, okay, yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, I know it's good too. Um, yes, let me look at that. This, this is a uh, uh, kinke, kinke here, yes. and pepper and fish, yes, please, and yes. it's delicious. I'm yes. telling you, I love it. What are you eating, sister? Sweet potato, sweet potato, okay, with sausage. With sausage? Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 good, mm -hmm. good, good. I don't know about that being Ghana food, I guess it is, <laughs> but I know this one here, yes. kinke. I ate a lot of that in Cape Coast, mm. sure did. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go inside if they'll let me. Thank you. Yeah, kinke, and it's something called banku, and it's similar, a uh, little different textures. But you eat it with pepper, you eat them with, and pepper's a mixture of spices and stuff. You dip it in there, eat it with fish, eat it with other stuff, soups, and Marcus Garvey Center. I think it's a guest house. And look at this. This is bamboo. 
growing right here on the property. If you're not from the tropics, you may have never seen bamboo. And this grows thicker, like this. And it's so strong, they use it in construction as pillars while they're constructing major buildings. They use bamboo, strong as a brick. Okay, let's see if they will allow me to come inside. I don't know. So this is, um, I think it's a guest house. Hey sister, hi. Is it okay for me to film? Is it all right for me to film? Okay, I'm, I have a, it's a guest house. I thought so. I've never been inside the guest house. I've been living here off and on since 2011, but I've never seen the rooms. Can I look at a room? Do you have one? Okay. This is a guest house. So if you come to Ghana, you can actually live on the property. Malcolm X, wow, isn't that something on the door? That's the name of this room. Kofi Annan on that one, Rosa Parks. Okay. Air-conditioned fan, chair, bed, TV, uh, desk, refrigerator, nice bath and a tub. Okay, okay. Closet, is it a closet? Okay. Do all the rooms pretty much alike? Mm. They all are alike? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a Kofi Annan room, Rosa Parks room. Little couches in the hallway. You're going to show, show me something on this yes. end? Okay. What is your name, sister? Fafa. Who? Fafa. Fafa. Yes. Okay, Fafa. Ga? Anyway. Anyway, okay, okay. Here's Marcus Garvey. Beautiful table. Okay. Nelson Mandela room and Martin Luther King room. All right, all right. Martin Luther King has a larger room, I see. All right, big, it was two beds, I think, put together. Nice refrigerator, TV, windows all around. That's good for the breeze. And people that haven't been here, they may think it's always so hot, but to me, I never use air conditioner in Ghana. <laughs> I never use air, and I have air where I'm at now. But I like the ceiling fan. It works better for me. Okay, shelves and, and all these windows, and man, these big closets. Can't see it because it's kind of dark. Very nice, sister. Um, do, do you mind telling me the how much? One hundred and sixty Ghana cities. One hundred and sixty Ghana cities yes, for this room. Yes, all the rooms. Oh, all the rooms same. Yeah. This is it's a beautiful right. sister here. <laughs> beautiful Ghana sister. Yeah. Airway, yeah. Eastern region. No, Volta. Oh, Volta, Volta, Volta. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. Volta region. Yes. And this is another. Uh, is this for this room? Yes. Ah, okay. The bath is for the uh, Martin Luther King room. Okay, is Nelson Mandela like this one? No, it's a small room, but we oh, don't small. use it, so we don't oh, use it. Okay, so how many rooms total? Five. Five rooms, okay, okay. Ironing board, you can iron your clothes, big refrigerator. Well, this is nice, sister. Yeah, I'm just walking around filming. Okay. I thank you so much, yeah, God I'm bless. Oh, okay, 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 that's okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 thank you, sister. Yeah, I'll see you again. Yeah. I may send you some business. Yes, 160 Ghana, <laughs> so 20 Ghana. No, 100 Ghana is like $20, so it's about, uh, I don't know, 40 dollars, 50 dollars a night, something like that. But it's on historic property, and it's in an area called Contumens. And Contumens is a um, nice part of Accra. It can get kind of expensive in continents. Beautiful homes, you know, private homes. Okay, this is the, okay. We'll walk around the property. Sugar and spice. I think it's like a bakery. Yeah. Pastry, cakes for all occasions, catering. Du Bois Center, continents near the American Embassy. As a, fact, as a matter of fact, the American Embassy is right across the street. So sugar and spice. I'm not going to go inside and bother them. But this is the uh, restaurant. Now, I forget what it's called. This is the bar. You can order food. Hey, brother, how you doing? All right. Yeah, they got a full bar, fully stocked. Here's Dr. King, his picture. All right. Nice tables. And just wood carvings everywhere in Africa. Kerosene lamps.
Yeah. And this is outside. Had some coffee here earlier. Talked to a sister. I don't see her now. Okay. Hi, sister. I'm just walking around filming. Can you tell me the name of, of the um, of this place, the restaurant? Say again. Yes. Ruth. Flavors. Ruth Flavors. That's the name of the restaurant. Yes. So is the owner Ruth? Yes. Ah, okay. Is she here? Yes. She's here. Okay. Okay. She's Ghanaian. Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. Beautiful place. I just wanted to, I just wanted to film and um, let people see how nice it is here. Tell, tell me, say your name one more time. Patricia. Oh, Patricia. Okay, you didn't say it the first time, but okay, Patricia. You from Accra? Yes. Ga. Yes. Ga. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, I'm just walking around filming so I can show people on YouTube and get them excited about coming home to Africa. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, all right. You here every day? Yes. Monday okay. Saturday. Monday through Saturday. You're off on Sunday. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. How long have you been here? Nine Is it okay? Yes. It's okay? Okay. You from Accra? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'll come back. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Always so many pretty uh, flowers and plants in Ghana. This tree here, they got big knots on them. Look like a woman's booty to me, a rear end. I see them other places too. I don't know what you call them, but they got these big humps. The flowers, I'm telling you, the plants in Ghana, probably just in Africa, they're exquisite. I take a lot of pictures of plants. Okay, so these are the grounds of W.E.B. Du Bois Center. And I'm not sure what they're doing over here. Look at. Uh, the building is not new, but they got workmen there. Maybe it's a library. I'm not sure. This raised level here, the property looks different from 2003. That was my first time coming. And Brother Akbar was here and Al Sharpton, Julia Malvo, and some other people. And I think they were up here. I don't think that building was there. I think it was a little bigger space. And they had chairs all down through here. And Al Sharpton made a speech about... Uh, he was running for president in 2003, and he tried to go to Liberia, and they wouldn't let him in. He wanted to help them with the uh, um, peace, but it got so hot he couldn't land, so he wasn't able to go. We're right by the airport. You can hear the plane passing overhead. So if you come to Ghana, you come to Contumens. You're real close to the airport. Okay, I'll just walk around and uh, got lights on the trees, illumination at night. The boys actually lived here, like I said. Uh, he lived here, and his main house. You got a library in there. And I learned things on a tour. The first time I went about the boys that I didn't know didn't learn in America some critical things I won't go into right now that's their tree one of them this is the boys main residence here brother brother yep. can I ask you a question All right. what about this house what is this um, here. Uh, you don't mind being on camera hope oh no I don't yeah. like being on camera you don't like being on camera? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what, what is this house? Okay, that is the tomb of Mr. Du Bois. Oh, that's the tomb? Yeah. Is his body inside? Yes. Suppose. Really? Yeah. And his wife? I can't tell, but I know that that's... It's tomb. not open for people to come and go? No, it's open for people to come. I can go inside? Yeah, you can go inside. So you just go and pay to them inside. Oh, you have to pay. How much? It's like seven cities. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll yeah. do that. Okay. And they're for you too. Oh, okay. They will give you actually tour about everything. About really? Oh man, thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and do that. I may have to do a two-part deal. I'm gonna share this online so people will see it. All right. Year return. All right. Everybody's coming. Yeah. All right. Thank you, brother. All right. Happy to receive you guys. I appreciate that. God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay, so he said I, that's the tomb of Dr. Du Bois. I didn't know that. I know that red and black. I'll show you the colors. 
I think I'll make a two-part deal. The red and black you always see around funerals here in Ghana. And um, they always have them on the weekend, Friday and Saturday. W.B. Du Bois. So that's where he's buried. Uh, that, he's not buried, but that's the house he's in, the body's in, I'm assuming. W.B. Du Bois Memorial Center for Pan-African Culture. That's the official name. And here's Du Bois. Looks just like him, too. A sculpture. I think it looks just like him anyway. They did a good job. They got the trees wrapped in the red and the black. That's the funeral colors. And you see people on the street on the weekends draped in those colors. So this is it. This is the property of one of our heroes. One of the important men of our history. Not sure about that building down there. Haven't been in that big one. This one. I guess that's part of the, of the property. I love these trees. They, they're native to India. They're the first thing I saw when I first got to Ghana in 2003. They just. Uh, my good friend Justice, he calls them hands down. Nobody knows the original name, official name, but most people don't. Justice calls them hands down because of the, the way they look. All the branches and leaves coming down. They also in uh, um, they they're also in Thailand, but the ones in Thailand don't look nearly as vibrant as these ones in Ghana. They don't look nearly as rich, as green as alive and I'm not just saying that it's the truth okay they got jewelry shops here they have a African market here either one Saturday a month this these people do good 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 how are you yes I'm just walking around filming so the people can see the beautiful grounds and I know I, I recognize that name from a sign so you all must be the ones that are responsible for that first festival or the not fe first uh, African market on Saturday Oh, the first day? Oh, it's the last Saturday. Okay, okay. I'm going to Kumasi, but when I come back, if I stay in Accra, I've written a book and I may want to get a table um, and, you know, advertise my book. I got a friend that does it sometime here. You know, you know, um, David? David. Yeah, with the Moringa. I know David. Yeah, David does it here sometimes. I've seen him here. Yeah. I talk with David several times. Yeah, 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 David. Good man, yeah. But let me, let me finish walking around and I'll come back. So what do you say? Book. I'm a writer. Oh, book. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll... Come back with that I will. I will. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So this is the table. They've got some of their wares out here. Last Saturday of the month, he said they have an African market. I was here last Saturday. Yeah, that was it. In fact, and a lot of vendors. Okay. This is the African American Association of Ghana. And this is one of the main Adinkra symbols in Ghana. It's called Sankofa. It means go back and fetch it or return to your root. Or if you don't know where you're from, your background, your history, you won't know where you're going. African American Association of Ghana, I think they have their meetings here on a, um, I forgot what, it's a, it's, they have them on a Sunday. It's W.B. Du Bois Memorial House. I don't know if it's the first Sunday of the month or the last Sunday, but I'll find out. I was a member and I've got to renew my membership. Not sure what that is, this house. But this is the property. This is Du Bois' main house where he lived while he was here. It says W.B. Du Bois Memorial House. And I'm going to go inside and talk to uh, the people and see if they will let me film while they give me a tour. Okay. So Du Bois, I'm sure we all know some of the young people may or may not know. They should know who he is. He wrote The Souls of Black Folk. That's the most famous work that I know about. 
Okay. I am dead, yet somehow, somewhere, in times a weird contradiction, I may tell of that dread deed wherewith I brought to the children of the moon freedom and vast salvation. Children of the moon, W. B. Du Bois, 1920. He was a hell of a thinker. He was the premier thinker, intellectual. Du Bois came with a, t a concept of a talented tent that I think people misunderstand and misrepresent because it wasn't about elitism, in my opinion. It was about those who were uh, in position of knowledge and background and education, helping the masses. Awake, awake, O oh sleeping world, honor the sun, worship the stars, those vast suns who rule the night, where black is bright, and all unselfish work is right, and greed is sin, and Africa leads on, Pan-Africa, from, Af from Ghana calls. That's from Nkrumah, 1962. Peace and love.